If you had issues with Thrive Teams to keep your headers and your footer consistent across different types of pages, maybe your blog, maybe your landing pages, maybe your regular pages, I'll show you how it's done now with the Thrive Theme Builder in 2020. So there are a few places where you can change the header. I'll focus on the header in this video. The first place is you go to the Thrive dashboard and go to the Thrive theme builder. That's probably where you're going to go first when you install the theme builder. If you don't have the theme builder, I do have a few other videos. Have a look at the blog post and they're a bit outdated. Uh, it's definitely more difficult to have consistent headers with the a theme, a normal theme, a WordPress theme, or one of the older theme from Thrive Themes. Uh, if you want something simpler, uh, going with the Shapeshift theme, part of the Thrive Theme Builder is probably the easiest thing. Uh, you can still try to achieve some consistency with third-party themes, uh, but you'll have to definitely do a bit more digging. And the reason why it was difficult before is because uh, Thrive Themes, the Thrive Architect plugin is a plugin that is based on WordPress and WordPress has its own way of doing headers and footers and Thrive Architect has a different way. Now with the Thrive Theme Builder, everything is integrated into one theme and it makes uh, life much easier. So the first thing you can do is go to the site wizard and if you've configured the theme builder first you probably already went there and the third option here is the header and this is where you can click this uh, menu at the top and then you can pick the uh, header that you want and there's a choice of maybe 30 of them um, I do have another video have a look at the description that goes into how to select um, a header but you can pick the default one for example that's what it is and by doing so that sets the default header for the whole of your website so your landing pages your uh, blog pages your regular pages that should be the default so depending maybe you've made some other changes to the templates but typically if you do that um, that should set uh, the, the this header as a default once you you've done that you can always uh, go to the templates here so go on the left to templates and this is where you can override things so this is and you just make sure here uh, you might see only eight of them there is this section here and you can do all templates and this is a list of all the templates that comes by default and you can create your own as well for both regular pages and for blog pages and blog index pages so a lot of different types uh, you can do video posts so there are lots of options but basically if for my let's say my default post i can go inside click edit let the theme builder load up and if you see by default it's this one there and if ever you want to change it you click on it click right there then you have this option here on the left so you can edit the current one so if you click edit it's going to change the header this header throughout your website so uh, and this is the name of the header so it's called default header for shapeshift theme so this is the name and if i edit this it's going to headed this um this header you can have multiple of them in, and let's say for my blog post i want a different header for some reasons what i can do is so i'll just go back at the top i'll do replace and then i can pick a new one uh and just start customizing it and that's gonna set the um this header so i could just just to show you here i could pick, pick this one here so it's gonna choose it like this I'm going to click save. So I'll, I'll just click save for now. And then it's going to ask me to save. So then I can say, for example, blog post header, and you can do something like custom. So, you know, it's, it's you, you've defined that one. Uh, so it's a good practice to, um, set, set a word that, you know, that you've configured it on your own. Personally, I like to do like H E one. So H E for header and then 
one space and then I know so I can write some documentation saying, okay, HE1 is for my blog post and HE2 will be for my landing pages. So that's a good practice. I do that for uh, Thrive Leads for a lot of places uh, when I name stuff that I do personally. So I'm going to just save it here. So now we have two. So we have one for the blog post. And then um, if we come back to this one, if we go to the home page, for example, edit the template, let it load. And we see here at the top, this is still so I can do edit. Actually, this is a landing page. So this is where it can get confusing sometime. Um, so this is a landing page and the way to set the header on the landing page, you have to click on this gear icon, click on. So it's not the it's the advanced setting. Uh, so no, it's not the advanced setting. It's the landing page setting. So it's not it's the global one. So it's the first one, and then you have header and footer. And this is where if you click on it, you can pick a header that you have saved. So by default here, you see the saved one. So I could use I could decide to use the one I've just created called HE1, or I can create a brand new one, or I can use one of the existing ones. So this is where you can pick the header for a landing page. It's done there. If it's a normal Thrive theme builder template, it's done. Just to show you, go to your templates and let's say I want, that's my default page. I can just click edit here, let it load up. and then just go at the top. So here the header is blue and this top section is blue. So it's a bit hard to read, but if you click on the logo, that's probably a safe place to click. And then this is where you can uh, replace it to something else, or you can just edit this one. And remember, if you do edit, it's gonna change that name. So the default header for Shapeshift theme, it's gonna change it it's going to change the, the look and feel so I can add a menu or add a different look, change a logo. And that's going to carry through through all pages with that uh, header called default header for shapeshift theme. So hopefully that makes sense. If you want to access all of your headers and see a list of them, because from here you have to go inside. So there is a place. And if you go to the Thrive dashboard, again, make sure you click on Thrive dashboard. And then this is all the some of the configurations at least that you can do in Thrive Themes. And if you scroll down, you go to Global Elements. And at the top here, choose headers. And this is where you have, so my three custom headers are there. So the HE1. So this is where when you name something like that, it's very easy to recognize. Uh, and then, so I've got one there. I could go and change a name here, or I can go and just click on it, click edit header, and I could go and, so from this place, I can go and change the logo, change the menu, change whatever I want, if I wanted to, and just save it. So that's one place to do it. Uh, and then from here as well, what you can do is click create new header, and then you can just pick one of the templates and then configure it. So let's say I take, uh, let's say the yellow one, just for an example, choose header, then just pick a name there. So I could say, so that's H E two yellow header for landing pages or for, let's say sales pages, then just say add new header. And then it's created. It should be in the list there. So actually it loads the editor so you can actually go and ch change your logo, configure it the way you want. You have all the elements here of Thrive. Uh, you can set your logos and then just click save work. And then if I just close this tab, so very often the, um, the architect or the theme builder will open a new page for the editor. Just close it and then come back to the previous page. So let me close. So sometimes you'll have to so go back. So I'm going to just close all my pages. Just go back here. So sometimes it does that. So you come back, go to the dashboard, go to the global elements, and then go to the header. And then we have the HE2, which is the yellow one. And then if I want to apply this header somewhere, out, somewhere on a specific landing page, uh, I can do that on the landing page itself. And then if I want to do it in a template, then I can do it. So you can have multiple of them. If you just want one, 
throughout your site, uh, then you can do it. But typically for landing pages, maybe you want a header which is uh, much cleaner with less options. So that's where uh, you can create one just for your landing pages or your thank you pages. So it's definitely up to you. You could have multiple of them. There are cases where uh, for certain blog posts, you could create something um, and override things. So uh, so that's it in a nutshell. That's how you keep things consistent. It's much easier with the Thrive Theme Builder. If you're interested in more videos about this topic, have a look in, in the description below. I've got a blog post that talks about it. Uh, in more details and give you, especially there's one on which header you should pick. Uh, maybe if you want to keep things simple, if you're starting, uh, I think uh, that video might be very useful for you.